Hey, how's it going? David in Arc here, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at disabling Windows S mode, downloading the Beam NG multiplayer mod, installing it when Windows tells you that it can't install it, and playing around in multiplayer. So, here we go. All right, as part of the security measures that are built into Windows 10, uh, the store actually blocks you from installing applications that don't come from the Microsoft Store. So in order to allow applications such as the BeamNG multiplayer app, you have to actually switch out of what is called S mode. Now, do this at your own caution at your own proceeding i'm just providing the information if for some reason something detrimental happens to your computer because you switched out of s mode then sorry that's on you uh, i'm just providing the steps on how to do it should you wish to head down that road so uh, basically what you're going to do is on your pc you're going to go to settings update and security and then go to activation. Then you're going to see uh, an option there that says switch to Windows 10 Home or switch to Windows 10 Pro. There'll be an option there that says go to the store. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then when you go there, you're gonna see an option to get out of S mode and then you can hit get and it will follow through uh, changing your computer out of the Windows safety mode, the Windows S mode. Now here's the kicker. Once you disable S mode, you cannot re-enable it. So just know that if you disable S mode so that you can install apps from outside of the Microsoft Store, you cannot go back. But in terms of installing the BeamNG multiplayer, you're gonna have to get out of S mode. Then you're going to go and grab the multiplayer mod. All right, now I know I've covered this in other videos, but you're going to go to beamng-mp.com. Then from there, you'll download the client and that is going to download the installer zip. And you can just simply click on that to open up what uh, the what's in the zip file and then extract the files. And once you extract them, then you can double click on the launcher installer. And this is gonna give you your Windows protection thing. Click more info and then click run anyway. And that's the big key to installing this. Click more info, then click run anyway, and then just follow the rest of the steps. Do a typical install and you click next, next, and all that good stuff. Just uh, go through the installation. Uh, it may ask you to install the Visual C Plus from 2015 to 2019. Just click uh, install, and then uh, you may get a window that pops up uh, asking for permission to install it click on yes, and then let things install. Now, depending on uh, what the computer all needs to grab out of the redistributable, the re, yeah, redistributable, um, it, that, that'll that determine how long it takes uh, for this to install. It's not very long, but uh, once it's done, you will have to restart your computer. So once that's finished, just Restart your computer and then you'll be ready for some multiplayer action. All right, once you reboot, you must launch the Discord application before you can uh, launch the BeamNG multiplayer. You don't have to really do anything other than have it launched. Um, I think you do have to join, well, I know you do, you have to join the BeamNG multiplayer Discord which uh, is beam, I mean, which is a uh, discord.gg slash beammp. And then you'll double click the beam ng multiplayer launcher. You may get the window that pops up asking for network access. Check all the boxes and click allow access. And then you're going to launch the game. Now, when you launch the game, as you'll see here in just a second, you're going to see 
that <clears throat> it launches and looks exactly like the regular version of Beam NG. And uh, the first time you do it, it may take uh, a few moments for it to kind of figure out what's going on and copy some stuff over. Um, but eventually, <laughs> the Beam NG screen will pop up here. And you'll notice that it looks just like the regular Beam NG, except you get a little error message. Don't worry about the error message. Click on play. And then inside play, you now have an icon for multiplayer. Click on multiplayer. And if you already have a Beam MP account, then you can log in with that information. Otherwise, you can just log in as a guest and give yourself a different username. Um, which is kind of funny. Uh, I, I'm just, I gave my guest name the same username that I would have logged in in. But anyway, uh, from here, here are a list of the servers that are available to choose from. And you can uh, click on one. And when you do, then you will be able to see what's available inside that particular uh, map for multiplayer. And then you can launch the game. So I uh, clicked on it, clicked connect, and then multiplayer will launch. As I've covered in previous videos, once you get in, you have to hit escape, go to the vehicle selector, choose the vehicle that you want to spawn into the game. So we'll just pick one here. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll do the sunburst police interceptor. Make sure you click spawn new. That will spawn in the vehicle. And then at that point, you can drive around. Now, uh, my game's being a little laggy, so let me switch to a different recorder. And now you can see that I am in the BeamNG multiplayer. There are other players in the game, and now we're just gonna have a little fun chasing down this dude through the map. Oh, 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 oh. I took a wide turn. That's not good, but that's all right. We'll catch up to him here in a minute. Whoa. Oh, he almost wrecked out. Oh, up over the bridge. Uh, the side of the bridge, anyway. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, a little bit out of control. Come on. Come on. There it is. Pit. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I tried to pit him anyway, and instead wrecked myself out so there you go quick tutorial on how to uh, get your computer out of windows s mode and be able to download and install the beam ng multiplayer mod hope that helps you got any questions problems suggestions horror stories feel free to leave those down in the comment section below Thank you so much to Hero of God, Gamer Gull, and Los Wilco for supporting me on Patreon. You can check that out, patreon.com slash davidnark. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time in Beam NG Drive. Have a great day.